Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in the workshop. Yay! Um, I don't know for how long for. I've had a bit of work so I've had to come in and do it. Being self-employed I haven't really got much choice. So anyway, in today's video there's a little bit of work on the lathe. Fixing it or maybe not fixing it but sorting a problem out. And a really cool chipping hammer made out of chain and a bit of scrap stock. So hope you enjoy. So without further ado let's crack on and, and see how it goes. Right, so we changed the belts on the lathe, um, and now the motor's making a horrendous noise. Uh, well, I'll show you now. I'll just switch her on. That ain't right, is it? So I think we can agree there, that sounds bloody horrendous, doesn't it? Um, I think we're going to start by stripping that off, um, all, the, uh, the, all the panel work there, and try and get into it and have another look, because... Man, it can't be right to say that bad. Right, so we're going to start by um, taking these screws out here, Allen bolts, that's one I've put in. Take these three out, there's a couple more on the back, all of this will come off then. We should be able to see what's going on. First thing I'm going to do is take that panel off. Lift the tray up. Okay, so you can see the new belts I fitted there. Um, but what I also noticed is there's a bright area around this pulley, which makes me think it's been touching that, which is where the noise has probably come from. Um, hang on. Yeah, I can feel it. It's touching. Um, well, I mean, a lot of these laves haven't got this um, this clutch on it anymore. A lot of people take them off. Uh, me personally, it's an emergency stop. I don't want to take it off. I'm going to leave it on there, but I think I'm going to have to I'm going to have to pack this out. Pack that out by a mill, a mill and a half, and that would get rid of that god awful noise. Ah. Better crack on with it then. So this pen is retained. Um, on the other side by one of these, it's, um, it's just like a split washer there, circlip. So if I can get that off. <coughs> there you go. Now I should be able to extract that pin. And um, see what I can do about packing it out. Oh, no, that's a bit There we are. So, my way of thinking is, if I take a mill, mill and a half off there, that'll give me clearance on the pin to be able to put a washer to the other side of it. <sighs> and then allow me to get the circuit on the back. That should, in theory, take the bar away from the pulley. Let's have a go. Still a bit warm, so you can you can see. No, you can't. You can see what I've done. Yeah, I've just literally got the grinder in and ground off what mill and a half, two mil. That should give me the uh, the space I need. I know I haven't actually solved the problem. I've um, I've just shifted it away somewhere else. So. I suppose we'll only know if it's worked if I uh, put it back together. Okay. So now we've got the pin, we know there's going to be extra 
space at the back of the pin so I'm going to pop the pin in there see if I can drop the washer over it with my khaki hands oh got it it's a good start for me don't pull it back here Jace right right straight away I can see I've got clearance nothing's touching that there um, can I get that back on A glove. Okay, so that inside face now is theoretically a million and a half like, away from there. Right. right, so by grinding that off and adding the wash at the back of it, I've actually increased the gap by about a million and a half. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, when I start this up now, there should be no nasty noises. Should be a nice, sweet motor and gearbox just turning. <laughs> Okay, so now when I start it, it's that's so much better.
Well, that's that. Um, that's, I, I like that. That's going to stay in the bag. I'm going to take that. That's going to go on site with me. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a different kind of chip in hammer, I suppose, but it does what it's meant to do. And it was easy to make, let's be fair. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And as always, a big thanks to the channel sponsor, Extreme Plasma. You'll see a link down in the, in the description there for their channel and some really other cool channels on YouTube. And guys, don't forget, we are on, on lockdown. I'm only in work because I have to be in work. Um, no one's going to pay me otherwise. So listen, you all stay safe, take care, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.